what it do, what it do. If you're new here, welcome to Sugar and Spice. And if you're not new, you already know what it do, baby. You already know what it do, baby. Welcome in, welcome in. Happy hump day. Happy Wednesday. Happy November. It's the first day of no well, no, not it's the second day of November. <laughs> These days going so fast. It's the second day of November, but we are in November now. And we are living our best lives. I'm speaking to anyone. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all doing tonight? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, saw quite a few of you guys over there. Um, so hopefully um, everyone else kind of trickled in. But um, I don't know what else I'm going to say. But anyways, tonight we're making charcuterie board for you guys. We have so many ingredients. Fam, they are, they are everywhere, man. It's kind of wild. It's pretty bad. Um, yeah, we, we went overboard a little bit. But um, it's going to be good, though, either way. Um, this is something great that you can make um, for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, um, a, an event or a party or um, something where you just want people to um, have something to munch on. Um, have little hors d'oeuvres or whatnot, and it looks very pretty, it um, tastes good, and there's usually a little something for everybody, um, whether they eat meat, don't eat meat, um, all the different dietary restrictions and that type of thing, and you can really cater it to whatever you want it to be. Um, you know, you can use um more fruit and vegetables if you want to go that route or more meats and cheeses so we'll definitely get into all of that um but we will be making it from scratch right here live with you guys when you're here every single wednesday at 8 p.m eastern time uh, so we hope to see you again next week um we also will have some topics tonight i actually have some really interesting topics that um, I would definitely like to get everyone's opinion on. Um, and it's gonna be like kind of fun topics, but um, it'll be interesting conversation. Um, without further ado, I guess we can go ahead and get started. Um, so let me just call out who's in the comments right now. Um, we got the YFC in the building. What it do, fam? You already know what it do, baby. Channel members. We got our channel members in the building. Another channel member, Kayla Moore. What's up, Kayla Moore? What it do, fam? Welcome in, welcome in. Shout out to y'all. Um, we got BDBGP in the building. What up, fam? What's up? What's up? How you doing tonight? Um, and then people just saying, hey. So um, let's go through our ingredients. Woo. Then I'm going to grab a little drink. Um, and then go from there. Okay. So I will start with, what, with what's on my side. Um, I have some deli sliced pepperoni. Prosciutto. I'm going to go uh, put on my little sweater because it's kind of cold. Go for I uh, got some salami. Got strawberries, fam. Have some green grapes. Oh. Jalapeno Jack Cheese Stuffed Olives. I have some Calamato. Uh, pitted olives. I have some fresh cranberries. <laughs> I got some uh, Colby Jack, Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. And this is just a block fam. I have some blackberries. I have a blue cheese wedge. I 
I got um, some wild sockeye salmon. Fam, we got so much stuff, fam. So much stuff. I got uh, some Vermont creamy goat cheese. And I think this is like a peppered. So it's herb. And then I have uh, more goat cheese, but this is wild blueberry, lemon, and thyme. So that's going to be beautiful on there, fam. Um, whew, we got stuff, fam. We got some brie. And these are already pre-separated. So we'll see if that helps us or hurt, hurts us. We got a little bit of dark chocolate. Um, and then we have uh, some sliced cheeses. So in here, uh, these are cracker cut. You got mild cheddar. You got Colby and Monterey Jack uh, with jalapeno poppers. And you have Swiss cheese. And then I had like a hodgepodge of cheeses um, in the fridge. We'll see if we actually need those. I don't think so, <laughs> judging by the size of our uh, security board. Yeah, when y'all see this board, y'all be like, how y'all gonna put all that on there? <laughs> we got some, uh, some pita chips. And um, from Walmart, we have an entertainment cracker selection. So it has, uh, I think, about five or six different crackers in there. Shush. Is that all? <laughs> Boy. That's all, folks. Oh, uh, let me get one. Uh oh, what you got? How y'all doing tonight? What y'all eating for dinner? How was your day? Y'all already know what to do, baby. All right, y'all. So, this is what I will be drinking on tonight the McKenzie's Pumpkin Jack Cider. Uh, this is my favorite drink of fall. <laughs> so, if you saw me last year, I was drinking the same thing <laughs> in the fall. This is my absolute favorite cider, um, Mackenzie's, and it's so difficult to find. I don't know why. Um, but Total Wine and More seems to be the only people that really sell it. So, you know, when I see it, I just Right. Get <laughs> a whole bunch. <laughs> um, what you drinking, Mom? Well, I made a concoction, fam. I got some tequila in there, a little bit of rum, some blue curacao, uh, and some pink lemonade. <laughs> uh, so a little bit, of, a little bit of everything. It tastes good though, and it uh, it tastes like it's about to make it do what it do. That thing be thinking. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is perfect right here, go. If y'all like pumpkin and um you don't like, you know, your drink too strong, this is a good option. I just tried the um wood chuck, wood chuck uh pumpkin spice cider or something like that. It was okay. Um which I do usually like woodchuck, but their pumpkin one eh, left a lot to be desired. Wasn't quite sweet enough for me. Um, but another good option, though, if you see it, it, you know, now's the time to pick up those pumpkin spice type drinks. So. All right. Uh, you about to get started? Yeah, I'm ready, coach. So, fam, I usually have like... um a vision or whatever, whatever, but we just got so much stuff up here that it's uh it's hard to keep my vision straight. Uh so we just gonna go with it. We got life with Missy in the building. What's up, fam? Welcome in, welcome in. Oh, welcome in. Hey. Welcome to the show. Uh BDBGP said I'm in the bearding and I'm ready to eat like bro man from the fifth floor. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome then. There's gonna be plenty to eat. <laughs> uh, Kayla Mar said Donovan better sing. That was a high note. <laughs> he was singing, I didn't even hear that part. 
I don't even remember singing, Kelly <laughs> What was he singing? Are you talking about in the video? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> BDBJP said, don't even hit that high note like Chair Boy from the Five Heartbeat. What was he uh, singing, well, man? I don't know what I was singing, <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't doubt I did it. Um, thank you, Kayla Mar. <clears throat> yes, if you would like to become a member, just head on over to our channel, hit that, or you can just hit the join button right down below. Um, it's a red join button. If you're on a computer, if not, it gets more complicated, but we are accepting memberships. Come on in, fam. Welcome in, welcome in. YC said, uh, Y'all matching. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, I ain't even realize it. We got the whole uh, Christmas thing <laughs> going. Nobody told me. Yeah, you know, these things just happen when you've been together for too long. We <laughs> can start matching and looking like. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the topics for tonight. This shouldn't be a very long live. I know we always say that, but I mean, there's literally nothing to actually cook. We're just going to be plating the um, charcuterie board. And, um, you know, if there's anything you need to say, babe, just let me know. Fair. Um, but, um, what was my phone? Oh, here we go. All right. So um, these are some things that I've just seen, like, in social media lately. Um, mostly TikTok, but some of the stuff is from Instagram too. And um, what are these streets talking about? Like? What, what 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 social media got going on? So let's start with some like parenting type stuff. So, okay. um, so y'all know Halloween just passed. Did hope everyone had a safe Halloween. Um, hope all the kids got all the candy and had a good time. But, um, so something I saw was a little girl. She had to be, like, five years old or less. Oh, okay. And she was dressed as a BBL patient. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I think I took a picture of it. Maybe I didn't. She was dressed as a, as a BBL patient? I don't know if I took a picture of that one. But yes, yeah, so the girl was dressed um, like she had just got a BBL. She had like the little butt pads. She had a, um IV with her, like a little IV stand. So she was five. She was, she was very, very young. Wow. Like couldn't be past six years old. <laughs> wow, bro. Um, and yeah, she had the little IV with her, and she was walking and. <laughs> With the little butt pads no, bro. and a little body suit. Hey, say it ain't so. <laughs> and I said, "What is this?" No. <laughs> she, hold on, babe. You mean tell me? Danny, I should have took a picture of this it. baby. Was dressed as a BBL cushion. Is that what you're saying? A whole BBL out here in these streets. And she, is she five or six? Very, very young. Um, could barely walk, same way. <laughs> like, what are we doing? <laughs> so, my question to the chat is <laughs> Would you allow your daughter to wear a BBL suit for Halloween? Is that too mature? Is that just all fun and games? Is it just funny? Or is that taking it too far? What so I, I like when little kids are dressed as like old people or whatnot. That's cute to me. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> But a BBL patient is taking it a bit too far for me. Um, slightly inappropriate for a baby girl. Um, so it's going to have to be a no for me. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even going to hold you. It's going uh, to have to be a no for me, fam. I can't even walk around looking like a BBL patient. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're I, right. Uh, daughter definitely is not going to. So... 
I don't know. I mean, I'm on the fence. I think if you want to do it, then okay. I don't. I feel like her mom might have actually had a BBL, um, because the lady that was like walking next to her, it look it was giving BBL. It was it was, it was giving BBL. <laughs> it butler. was giving. <laughs> What's on your butt lift? But. <laughs> So, you know, if you're, like, trying to dress them up like, as you or, like, something you've done, you know what I'm saying, then it's like, okay, like, I can get how that can be, you know, just, like, funny and, you know, all in good spirits. So, what I hear you saying is, get it how you live. Oh. <laughs> but, you know, if not, I feel like that's kind of, it's pushing it, like Donovan said, I think. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> Let me just put it like that. I would not want that. Um, I wouldn't want that look on my daughter. Yeah. Um, that's man. That's tough, bro. That's wild. But I mean, it was very creative <laughs> and interesting. But was it's, it just, it's it's a little odd. Um, it's, it's a lot. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a no for me on the uh, on the BBL <laughs> on my baby girl. What y'all got, chat? Because maybe I'm just being old school. Yes. So, what do y'all think, chat? Um, if you just came in, the um, there's a little girl that was dressed as. Oh, did you want to tell me? All right. Um, <laughs> so. I will show you on the next one. I'll talk you through it on the next one. Y'all keep this going. I'll talk you. I'll talk you through it on the next one, fam. Um, so if you just came in, we are talking about um, there was a little five-year-old girl. I'm just gonna call her five. I don't know how old she was, and she was dressed as a BBL patient. If you don't know what that is, Brazilian butt lift, um, butt implants, shots, that type of thing. Um, she was dressed as if she had just got a BBL for her Halloween costume. Um, so what do you guys think about that? Would you allow your child to dress in that way? Can I get two toothpicks? Or is she taking it too far? Chat, what y'all got to say? Because I know that y'all always be on that big talk when it comes to stuff like this. I said what I said, and I feel how I feel. They said he was uh, singing about the cranberries. Oh, singing about the cranberries? Damn. <laughs> like, legit, don't even know. legit, don't even remember doing it. He sings everything. We always wonder why he sings everything. But <laughs> he's like, why am I singing? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know why I be singing, y'all. So just, y'all just bear with me. Oh, uh, Griffin's in the building. What What's up, Griff? How y'all doing tonight? Oh, uh, we got the PBT in the building. What up, fam? What's good? What's good? PBT in the crib. Okay, we see you. All right. Uh, people saying hey. We got Big Norge in the building. What up, Big Norge? Um, he said 90% of me is salami. <laughs> <laughs> so you like salami? Okay. All right, Big Norge. <laughs> um, we got plenty of salami. We got plenty of all kinds of different meats. Well, we got stuff. And cheeses. We got stuff. And all kinds of stuff. So um All right. Fam, so this time I'm about to run another rose. Um, so I'm gonna get eight pieces, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna fold this in half. Fold it in half, fam. And then after I fold it in half, I'm just gonna roll. Just pick a side and we roll the nooks. Some of us know how to roll better than others. But we won't talk about that here. Listen here. Listen here. <laughs> what does that mean? 
And then you just you just keep that going, fam. Just keep it going. And then what you're left with is a tight rose. And then if you wanted to add a little bit of fluff to it, then you can come back in, which I did on that one, but it kind of uh, worked my nerves a little bit, so I ain't going to do it again. But uh, you come back, you just fold that in half, and then you just add it in, and then you can add more petals to your rose. Um, but again, not doing that because the last one uh, ticked me off just a little bit. Um, so I'm coming in. Just to hold this in place, I'm going to throw a little toothpick right there because we're trying to be show ready because y'all are fam. Y'all are guests for tonight. Um, and then we're just going to throw that baby on there. Um, hey, Lamar said, hey, to me and I, which I didn't see me and I. Um, so maybe I missed it. But if y'all are in the building, then uh, shout out to y'all. Um, yes, PBT will be going live after this live, so um, go check that out. For sure. Uh, Kayla Moore said, heck no, that was too much. What? <laughs> 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 yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. The BBL uh, thing? Yeah, nah, it's, uh, it's, it's giving me no vibes. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was it was a little, it was too much. Yeah, it's giving me no vibes, it's man. Just, it's just weird, like... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't even think of doing something like that. That's just just wild, bro. Such is life. Facts. Facts. Uh, YSC said, no, 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 no. <laughs> Team too much. <laughs> <laughs> Team too much, babe. You know I'm saying, like, I don't know where these people are getting this stuff. Like, it's just crazy. Uh, Kayla Mar said, will catching catering be available in the future? Um, sure, it could be available now for the right price. <laughs> <laughs> the price is right. If the price is right. <laughs> uh, thank you, KMR, for dropping the Spice Addicts um, link. Uh, that's actually our Instagram, Spice Addicts. Um, so if you're not following us on Instagram, go over there. There's tons of videos, recipes. Um, so if you're into the food stuff, um, our Spice Addicts Instagram is the way to go. Also, if you just came in, I am drinking Mackenzie's Pumpkin Jack um, Cider. Yeah. Whew. It's so good, y'all. Like this is one of my favorites. If you want to find a way to my heart, <laughs> it's through McKenzie's way. Yes. Um, I guess uh, Donovan not drinking tonight. I am. Okay. <laughs> Too late. I'm just not drinking McKenzie, fam. I got uh, I got me a, another little chump chump that I'm working on off camera. Oh, so he hiding his drink from y'all? You hear me? <laughs> it's just in my work area, fam. That's all it is. Okay. It's over here with me where I work at. I'll see how it is. Um, huh. Oh, we saw someone else said, hey, me and I. Oh. <laughs> so they don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Big North said, I would garden more if I could grow meat flowers. <laughs> big North. That's hey. a good point. <laughs> hey, Big North, big facts. If I could grow meat, I would. That like, would be really cool. I would garden my tail off. <laughs> I think you'd see a whole lot more people garden if they could grow some meat. <laughs> yeah, that's that's funny. Um, okay, so um, along with the whole kids, um, there was also, I saw little girls starting to get their makeup done and eyebrows arched like we're talking about for halloween or just in general just in general like if it's an event or something like that um there was a makeup artist that does like little girls makeup but it looks like a grown woman i think i have a picture of this one so they had their face beat to the gods beat for the god lord jesus my baby 
Mm-hmm. Fam, so this was the blueberry, lemon, and thyme uh, goat cheese. Next up, I will start working on some prosciutto. I think with the prosciutto, I am going to kind of fluff it out like a little ribbon. Yay or nay? Chat, yay or nay? Let's see what you got. Nah, bro. <laughs> it's another no. No? <laughs> Not no, but nope. So, I don't know how old she is. What would you say, man? Maybe six? Yeah, I, I would say between... I can't give her eight. So, six or seven. Yeah, six or seven. Seven at the, the highest. But, like, girls are starting to get their eyebrows arched. And make up like a grown woman. If I would have tried to do this back in the day, I would have got slapped to tomorrow. Not to tomorrow, man. <laughs> like, y'all would have had to pick me up from the floor. <laughs> like, uh -uh, they used to do that back in the day. They ain't play about that makeup. Like, kids already looking old these days. They look old, but Yeah. Real mature. <laughs> For any age? <laughs> like, you really can't tell these days. Especially nah. if they, like, tall. Or I, uh, big, like... Nah, I, um, I can't. I can't. So, with they makeup done, too? Like, <laughs> and then you don't wonder why these men don't know what what is what. Even yeah. though, I mean, you can tell, tell, still tell she's sick. But... <laughs> nah, and there'd be people out here... Praying on children, and I'm not trying to, you know, turn this conversation with. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's a no for me. Mm -hmm. yeah, please, please unmake up my child. It's a no for me as well. But, um, <laughs> and I mean, I understand, like, you know, a little something for if it is some type of event, like, you know, a wedding or, you know, some type of like major events, like something a little light or fun, you know, maybe like some colorful eyes shadow or something like that. You know, just something cute and fun maybe, but like eyebrows arch, foundation, powder, too much. Eyeliner, like, okay, you're doing way too much. Excuse me, girl. What y'all think? Fam, I can't, I can't, I can't, fam. So y'all gonna get flued out for our big events. Okay. Uh-oh. Get me flued out. Uh-oh. Hey. We get flued out, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. Flued out, baby. Can watch it. They flying people out. I'm here for it too, Kettle One. Just put me in first class. <laughs> first. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take what I can just get. There's no spirit. <laughs> <laughs> We on the butt spirit committee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, them uh, them big friends seats be cheat code sometimes, fam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Only big front seats with <laughs> the spirit. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Kevin Mark said, "What age?" Yeah, I think she was. I mean, y'all saw the picture, but she looked about six to me. Mm -hmm. And Kayla Mar said, oh, no, she's too young. That's a baby. <laughs> Big facts, man. Like, we talking baby, baby, Kayla Mar. Am I missing something with these parents? Like, is this a millennial thing? Or you think this is like a... Well, nah. So, growing up, like, it was certain cultures that, like, that's how they got down. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know the technical term. And I don't want to upset nobody. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we'll say that there is, there was, um, growing up for me, there was a certain culture of people. Um, and they mostly, you know, came out and, and, and did their thing and mingled, whatever, whatever, on Saturdays. And the children were very, very dressed up with makeup and everything. Oh, I know so much. Um, so this particular culture in general, like they've been doing it, you know what I'm saying, for years, babe. Yeah. 
theirs don't look that good. <laughs> um, moving on. <laughs> Uh, YFC said nay, too young. <laughs> All right, YFC, we see. Like when Missy said nay. <laughs> it's a no no. <laughs> yeah, I just, I can't do it. Um, Big North said, thankfully, my granddaughters are hippies and don't like makeup. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that makes it easy for you, Big North. Wait, so sadly, they don't like showers either. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no, North. <laughs> You have to put their business out there. <laughs> <laughs> you have uh, <laughs> big noise. Hey, big noise. That's why I love you, fam. You keep it real. You gonna tell it just how it is. Absolutely. Just how it is. That is cranberries. Kind of hard to see what that was. Sorry, fam. <laughs> I'm kind of working. I'm working to fill out our board. We got so much stuff that, like, I'm just making it do what it do. <laughs> it's just like one little sprinkle. Yeah, it's like I'm just trying to put a little everything. And what what the big fella don't forgot, fam, is the fact that we got these crackers and stuff to put on here too. So I'm trying to make the most of this little uh, board space we got. Um. Like when Missy said, hey, everyone, I have to go. The board is looking good and delicious. Everyone have a blessed night. Thank Thanks, you, Missy, Missy, for coming in. <clears throat> Appreciate it. Hope to see you next week. Have a good night. Um, But, yeah, I, I don't know why these parents be trying to make these kids grow up so fast. Like, it ain't nothing out here to grow up for at all <laughs> like, like like not a thing nothing but bills and not a thing babe. like you you boy you talking that big fat you talking to big facts now because ain't nothing out here bro <laughs> okay nothing special <laughs> and then once you get out here just like your parents told you they're like all right now you better stay <laughs> stay little as long as you can but once you get out here don't stop exactly and you want to listen to them no get bro. trying to grow up too fast facts. and now look at you Facts. <laughs> Wish you could go back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I think, I mean, for me, babe, I feel like stuff needs to be age appropriate. um, So that everybody stay in their place. The child stay in their place. The people who are secretly looking at your child stay in their place. Like, whatever it might be, everybody, everything stay in their place. So don't nobody got to catch these hands. Oh. 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 You know. Oh. Um, I'm gonna step off camera really quick, guys, so I can um take my Invisalign out so I can eat some. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep going while she away, fam. So, uh, with this, because we don't have very much room left, we're probably just gonna do a little bit of this, guy. We'll say about yay much. Um, and then we're just gonna make us some cubes, fam. Something cute for our little board. Again, like this can be fun, fam. You guys don't have to uh, overdo it. Don't overthink it. Y'all saw what we did. We just bought a bunch of different stuff. Um, and then we just coming through, making it do what it do. Oh, all right. <clears throat> Sorry, I wanted the strawberries, so. <laughs> Man, we got plenty of them. Um. All right, next question that I saw posed, I think this might've been on Shade Room, I don't know. But anyway, the question is, would you rather have triplets or a child every year for three years? I'm not gonna put this right here because it's two same thing. So I need a little break fam. So the question is triplets or a child every year for three years. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. I would say a child every year. I feel like that triplet pregnancy is tough, bro. Well, yeah, that. But also, like... Three at one time. That's what I'm saying. Like, so that means everything you do, 
You have to do it three times. Like at soon, one time. As soon as you get a baby to sleep, then you gotta you got <laughs> one waking the other ones up. Like you just did the hard work and then they're like, nah. That's saying like daycare. I ain't feeling they it. They all want to daycare at the same Ooh. time, so you gotta pay for three kids for daycare. Three thousand dollars a month. Ain't that a bad word? They playing sports. Okay, you gotta pay for three kids to play sports. They it's um their birthday, you gotta buy three gifts at one time. Sheesh. So <laughs> with that being said, <laughs> uh at least like to like break it up and yeah. at least know okay, every year I gotta do this thing, but at least I can recoup <laughs> in that year before I have to do it again. Um, but that's just me. What you think, man? Um, yeah, no, it's gonna have to be uh, it's gonna have to be the uh, the uh, three kids every year. And then you, you got time to at least get your head together in between them. <laughs> like, yeah, I uh, nah, bro, that's a lot, baby. That's a lot. Yeah. These options always be be here. <laughs> exactly. They both be <laughs> They'd be like, do you want you want the little rough or you want the real rough? Like, my sister has twins, so I already know how that goes. And just adding a, another one on top of that. Uh-uh. <clears throat> uh, Kayla Mar said, I said that the other day take me back to the school days yes facts bro i'm saying like, it's, it's crazy adulting for the birds they can man. have it they can keep it they can take it bro <laughs> adulting is so lock it up and throw away the key i don't care right facts bro like, it ain't nothing but stress that's all man that's all adulting is it's a bunch of stress mm -hmm. encased in, in different clothing <laughs> <laughs> With different reps. In different ways. Like. <laughs> uh, YFC said, right, everything and everybody stay in their place. Facts. Yeah. Facts. People be doing too much. Facts. They be out here just... I don't know. I don't know what they be doing. And see, this why these parents probably was growing up too fast. That's why they don't even know how to be a kid. Uh oh. <clears throat> That's why their kids don't be kids. Uh oh. But I digress. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't know it was Big Talk Wednesday, fam. <laughs> Just dropping a little bowl. Uh oh. <laughs> um, Kayla Mark said they would do triplets. Okay. Really? Okay. Do tell, Kayla Mark. Tell why? us why on the, on the trip now. Right. Why, why would you want to do triplets? On the trip, dog. Why is he said triplets as well? Once and done. <laughs> yeah, the pregnancy part, but <laughs> everything else is. I, I just, I, I don't know. I just. Hey, so for the folks out there who would do the triplets, like, let us know. Let us know why. Because I understand why I wouldn't do triplets or wouldn't want to do triplets. I guess you can't, you can't, uh, do away with what what the good Lord places on you. Um, but beyond that, like why triplets, Kayla Mar? Why triplets, YFC? Y'all, I'm struggling like bad words to open this pepperoni off camera. <laughs> um, fam, still struggling on the pepperoni. Oh, got him. Kayla Mar said one and done, like YFC. Okay. <laughs> All right. So y'all just want to get everything out the way. Get in there and get Which out. Which means it's understandable, but facts. Because like once they're gone, they're gone. Like that's it. So, I mean, I can see both sides, but personally, Sheesh. I feel like triplets. Taylor Marshall, I just want to have them and get my body back. <laughs> that part. <laughs> Now that's uh but that's really gonna mess up your body if you have three and one home. That's true. Your body ain't never going back to normal. It ain't. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you. It ain't yours no more. <laughs> Unless you get that BBL, like uh, uh -oh. <laughs> that little girl. <laughs> the baby has BBL. <laughs> Lord Jesus. It looked like <laughs> Jesus. So uh good child. Get to 
<clears throat> um <laughs> anyway so um something else i saw that was just crazy to me all right talk to us um so <laughs> maybe y'all have seen this but there was a girl that um was talking to a guy okay. in jail mm -hmm. that's where you lost me. <laughs> and the guy had to do a thousand years in jail <clears throat> his sentence was a thousand years well ladies <laughs> i don't know if i even need to ask would you date a guy in jail for the rest of his life. Like they met while he was in jail? I don't know. They just made a TikTok together. He was in the jail and she <laughs> she was at home and they were both dancing together. Um but so I don't know if they met in jail or she knew him before he went to jail. But my question is, what was he doing that he got a thousand years? Oh, he was doing some real bad stuff, but like, did you just like mow down a whole country? I don't understand. Like, how do you get that that many years? I was sure that wasn't Mr. Brooks. <laughs> exactly. That's about how he's gonna be, but I just that that's my first question. Uh Kayla Mar said. Sign me up for the baby BBL at the at that point. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're going to have to get. <laughs> hey, hey, Lord. Y'all, y'all too trouble. much, man. <laughs> oh, oh, there's me and I. The what up? The execs in the building. Executive chef's coming through. What's up? What's up? How y'all doing tonight? Don't mind if I do. I'm trying to find space on this little board now, y'all. Y'all should see. Y'all do see. It actually looks really good, like from the top. You like your top view, babe? Yes, it's coming together, y'all. Um, Kayla Mar said, "Wait, say that again. I must have missed something." <laughs> no, you ain't missing. Uh -oh. <laughs> so there was a woman that was with a man uh -oh. that was doing time in jail, uh -oh. and his sentence was for a thousand years. Like one. And three zeros. Yeah, like one zero zero zero. Like yeah. one comma zero zero zero. But I feel like if you're doing a thousand years, you had to you had to love him before he went in. Because anybody doing a thousand years, I'm be like, hey, hey baby dog, what you do? Oh no, I ain't do it, bro. Woo wee! <laughs> you tell me you ain't do a thousand years? Woo wee! Okay. You might not have done some of them, but you did most of them, my boy. That's why I mean, okay, so the only way I would even feel slightly inclined to Maybe. date a man in jail for okay. thousands of years okay. is if, like, he did something to, like, save me and my family or something. Like, mm. like something that somebody was attacking us and it was, like, a whole army of people attacking us and he just started, like, mowing people down. <laughs> and, and he just, like, took everybody out and we was, like, safe or something. Move, move, move. <laughs> Right, like, so okay, so, okay, like, okay. So uh, answer, answer me this, here, babe. Would you do that same thing if he did that for someone else? Like if his cause truly was noble, like maybe not for you, but for someone else. Yeah, I feel like you need to be with that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you, bro, you a hypocrite, bro. Um, I'm not gonna be. <laughs> bro, you a hypocrite, bro. How's that? <laughs> I'm talking about straight shout out because you're saying that you would do it if you don't know. If he didn't have that long, then maybe. Like if it was like he did something to help somebody and got like 10 years or something, then okay, maybe. While he's in jail? Oh, Charlie Lloyd, man. I chose the right one. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? No, I'm but, sorry. Man. <laughs> like you in jail for life and I'm never going to see you. And you did something for somebody else? Like, nah. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> he 
and I said, we've been in here. We was on a call. You tried at YFC. Uh oh. <laughs> y'all got called up. <laughs> okay, Lamar done flew with us out while y'all was going. You hear me? Exactly. We got flew out while y'all was going. We got a little blank space right there. What we put it right there. And Lamar uh, flew out the uh, jail mate. <laughs> <laughs> Fam, dark chocolate, dark chocolate coming up next. I found an open spot right here that we're going to put it in. Why is he said, welcome back in, me and I. I said what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all wild. Hey, fam, it's coming together really nice. Uh, Ken Mar said, heck no, we did it, and I would have to let him go. A thousand is too much. He might be dating me, but I'm not dating him. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so you would have a little. Uh, <laughs> he'd just be your side boy. <laughs> the entertainment for the night. <laughs> well, for a couple minutes. Dang, it's like that. What well, ain't? Dang, man. Yeah, he definitely. Yeah, I just. Mm -mm. I'm sorry because I just I need to know why you in there for so long, and it ain't no. It wasn't my fault. It ain't my fault. Did I do that? Because you got to be doing something real crazy. But, I mean, I don't know. That whole being with a dude in jail was just always weird to me anyway. Um, always? But because they usually be talking to multiple people anyway. Even in jail, but Yes, they be talking to multiple women, telling them all the same thing. And they be listening, buddy? Absolutely. They uh -oh. be dancing with them on TikTok. Oh, uh oh. Bam. <laughs> I don't know that I can actually actively fit anything else on this little boy. Like, I see the space. <laughs> Bay where? <laughs> Shit. Hey, fam, this photo ready, boy. See, see? Can't what what said, can one say? Now, if he did it to save me, I might consider... But child, we would have to have rules. <laughs> <laughs> what you think? They got a rule. They gotta have rules, baby. <laughs> What's the rules? <laughs> see, see, that's what I said. Like, if it was something where you just did something so incredible, and you just like saved me and like my whole family's life or something, then okay, but. Even still, it's, it's a stretch. I probably would not be loyal to you. I'm just going to be honest. <clears throat> Dang, but even if I saved the whole family? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll make you feel good, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm not uh, actually going to be. I know what, what family not to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, YFC said, we hear you. You hear me? Dang, that look good. Hey, fam, I ain't even gonna cap. It's the um, it's the flowers for me. You gotta give give a man his flowers while you while he uh while he ain't locked up. <laughs> That's what they mean by giving him the, his flowers. Yeah, the meat flowers. They mean the meat flowers. <laughs> me and Big Norris, if we can grow them like this, me and Big Norris will grow them just like this, baby. Big Norris are looking at the insert inset picture. My eyes are making my mouth water. Yeah, that looked good. I don't know how he pulled it off because he didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> oh, let me not put his business out there. Sorry. As you sip your tea. Just sipping a little tea. <laughs> Big Norse said, outstanding. Fam, Thank this, you. this is a charcuterie board, fam. This this the one for me. I'm talking about we got depth, we got color. We got textures, we got fruits. Only thing we missing is vegetables. And that's because me and Big Norris don't like vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> we do have some of that. What's it called? What's that, mama? That arugula. Don't have no room for nothing. <laughs> Just spread it over the top. <laughs> like confetti. Uh Cam Mar said, rule number one, this is an open relationship. <laughs> Cam Mar, you can talk to whoever you Let's want. Start to. With that. I'm gonna talk to whoever I want to. Oh yeah, we real good as long as uh, you realize that this is over. 
Okay, Mar says looks good. Mar C said looks spectacular. So I'm gonna leave the link for on um, the board that we're using down below. It does come with like little um, little uh, what they call utensils. Yeah, I guess we call them utensils. And so, you know, people can use them to cut their cheese or their meat, pick, pick their meat. I'm buying my flour. <laughs> me. Me. You can't eat the flour? Mm -mm. What's the point? For presentation purposes only. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'll leave uh, the board link down below um, if you want to come back and um, make one for yourself. Or if like you're having a party and you kind of know what people like and what they don't like, or you just want to get a variety like us, um, definitely, definitely something dope uh, for a party. As long as everybody practices dodging, you hear me? So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's it, guys. It's really pretty simple. Like, like I said, mostly just meats, cheeses, crackers, fruit, but you can kind of do whatever you want. Like, if you want more vegetables, I'll definitely say do that. Um, if you want, you know, a little more meat or different types of meat, like we also have the salmon we didn't use, um, you can do that. If you want to make kind of like a sweet uh, charcuterie board and do more cho different types of chocolates and Facts. Um, Facts. sweets and candies, like you can do that too. So, well, you can be very creative and you know do things towards your taste or the taste of the people that are going to be at your event or whatnot. Um, but this is a very good option for the holidays coming up. Um, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, like if you're entertaining, this is definitely a great um, way to do it and it's quick, easy. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's a bunch of stuff that you gotta get. <laughs> but. Um, so making like buying um, the variety packs, like already put together, like a meat variety pack. Yeah, they nowadays they have like the charcuterie like kits and facts. stuff where it's like already all made for you. So something like that will definitely help make it easier for you um, and help with your pockets as well because uh, those you have everything, you know, that you need. Maybe buy two different ones in terms of meats and two different ones for cheeses. Um, but if you like like a lot of different flavor and different texture, then you got to go in on the cheeses. The meats don't make it easy for you. But the cheese is like you gotta have like a, a nice pungent blue cheese. You gotta have um, goat some goat cheese. You gotta have a brie, um, Havarti if you like Havarti. So just you know, tailor it to your own likings. Um, good snacking food, definitely uh, dope presentation. Because again, folks walk in and they see this on your counter. You that dude? That's you. Yeah. You are him or her. What's up, Angelina? Welcome in. Welcome in. Already know what to do, baby. Hey. Um, so yeah, like we said, this was just a quick um little live tonight. Uh but I mean it came out great. Yeah, it's no, it's pretty dope. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't even realize how easy it was <laughs> and how good it could look. <laughs> That's why I'm putting things in certain places. Um, but <clears throat> Thanks y'all for coming out. Make sure that you check out our video that just dropped right before this live. Um, so if you haven't watched that, go check it out. We make Southern style collard greens. And baby, when I tell you they're gonna be making you bring that for Thanksgiving every year, so go check that out, leave a comment. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button before you leave out of this live so we can push it out to more people. A lot of people watch our lives after we actually go live. If that part. Um, so <clears throat> make sure that you hit that thumbs up button so that they know this was a good video that they need to watch. Um, 
we will be probably dropping another video on Saturday. And um, honestly, we're just going to be dropping heat all holiday season. So stay tuned, stay linked, um, join our memberships if you want some free products. Um, <clears throat> what am I missing? Uh, if you're not subscribed to us and you're new here, definitely, definitely subscribe. Uh, today is the end of Wednesday, fam, and we are just getting over the hump. So let's finish this week strong. We got Thursday and Friday standing in between us and the weekend. So let's make sure that we make it do what it do, baby, because you already know what to do. Then once we do get to Saturday, new heat drop. That's it for me. And I'm DC. And I'm Stacy. And we out.